Good morning, everyone. I am not going to tell you exactly where I boondocked last night because, again, I don't really think this is official. But uh, it's at a dead end spot with no markings. And this was my view last night. I, I mean, I pulled in here uh, before it got dark, little walkway right to the Pacific Ocean. And how cool is this? Again, just for reference, there's the RV. Here's the water, which I love so much. And, you know, a lot of times, this is just the exciting part about boondocking is just changing it up, trying new stuff, you know? I mean, I don't know. The, the weird part about it too was like, I went to bed last night and I honestly was like, you know what, one of these neighbors might like call and tell on me or have parking enforcement come out and say I don't live here and I'm in an RV and he's moving around and you know there, there's always that but it doesn't get me down Jacks man good morning buddy good morning you ready to go all oh, big cat stretches yeah you're ready you're such a good ready kitty and uh, we'll show you my cold starts in the morning perfect every time cold starts are always great in this RV Jax here we go we're going places I'm about due for some groceries, just the bare essentials, and I know for a fact that it's still going to be a long time before I run into a Walmart along this route. Like I think Newport, Oregon is the first chance I get for an actual Walmart, so I'm going to have to pay top dollar at one of these convenience stores for bread, meat, fruit, milk, the essentials and stuff. But we'll see. This old Pronto pub place looks really cool with this ginormous corn dog on the roof. But they're not open. It doesn't say anything about, they got a sign on the door that says winter hours. They're only open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Well, it's not even winter, <laughs> spring. Eh. And for some reason, I really, really want to ride this, but I don't want to get caught riding it. And I don't know how to take the picture. Oh, you know what? I got my self timer. Hang on. I did find a store. I found a place to park. I like the cow Tillamook train there. It's still drizzling, but it's not draining bad. Actually, it's all coming back to me. I remember the West Coast 101 and Highway 1 down in California. It's really expensive. Everything. I remember I was griping one time because I paid like $13 for a six pack of soda and like $7 for a gallon of milk or something. It was ridiculous. I think I just found the last remaining phone booth. Or actually, it's a cell phone booth. Oh yeah, we're going in there. Let's check it out. Dun, 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 dun. So I just pulled in here to see what was going on here at the Tillamook Cheese Factory and it looks like they've got something open, something different. I thought, heck, go at least go check it out here in uh, the spring of 2017 to show everybody the status here. Actually, I mean, it kind of makes sense that they have something open, even if it's just a temporary building. They'd lose a lot of tourist income if they just closed down for three years. There's the main factory over there. I don't even recognize this red barn. This may be temporary or they may just be reusing it temporarily. You can see how they're redirecting us main entrance here. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is interesting. They've just changed everything else around. They still got the orange yellow Volkswagen here. Actually, this is quite the setup for just a temporary thing. Wow. Here's a milking station here. Free cheese. Yes, please. 
start here with the squeaky cheese curds. Well, those are good on fries. Mm -hmm. Medium cheddar is probably my favorite. Sharp cheddar. I don't like Swiss cheese. You guys may have that. But I'll do the smoked medium cheddar. Oh, that's my favorite. Smoked black pepper white cheddar. Now we just go through the line 12 more times and then we don't have to worry about dinner. <laughs> Note to self, there is a Fred Meyer grocery store in Tillamook. <laughs> the prices weren't that bad at that convenience store. I think, my, if my memory serves me correctly, it's, it's Highway 1 in California where it's literally highway robbery for everything you want to buy. But still, there's a few things still on my list, so I'll uh, trek on in and do some more shopping. Here, come here. All the way over here, give me your cuddles. You're not very comfy. Your nails caught. <laughs> Pots. <laughs> what do you think of this rain? You like it, don't you? You do? Go get them. Go get them. Go get them. He's like, what? There's nothing. Dad, there's nothing. There's nothing to get. <laughs> All right. I found another cheese place here in Tillamook. I just want to stop in real quick because... This is the Blue Heron French Cheese Company, and their parking lot is listed on freecampsites.net as an approved overnight campground. Um, it, it's dark, but it's only 11 a.m. They got some really old uh, vehicles out front. I might just go in and verify that just for fun, just to see if they've changed something. Plus, sometimes I get different answers than other people, like, a 60 year old lady and her dog could go in one second and ask them if it's okay to overnight park they say yes and then me 35 year old guy walks in and I can get a totally different answer which is strange and odd but and also I want to see what kind of cheese they got a Tesla charging station really okay I didn't do it I had nothing to do with it I changed my mind guys I just went into this place I'm gonna overnight camp here and I'm gonna tell you why because this is private property a private business and they totally stand out amongst other people because they invite and they encourage RVs to stop here and make this their overnight stop of course they've got lots of stuff in there I got a six pack of local beer which I will show you once we get parked here and I asked her where she'd like me to park. It's not too busy, obviously, but I'm gonna park right in the grass area right here just to kind of stay out of the way in case tomorrow morning this place gets busy or something. I don't know, but that way I'm totally out of their way. And uh, we'll look around here if it stops raining. Uh, I do kind of make everything up as I go. So oftentimes if something just feels right or seems right, I'll take advantage of it. Um, actually. I'm gonna go up here and look up here. Might as well. They've got a lot of property here at this cheese factory, and I wonder if they're gonna get more business because of the fact that Tillamook is kind of under construction and stuff. Yep, I'm gonna park right up here out of the way. How about that? That works. Jax, there's chickens. So um, I think it's totally cool. The only thing they ask is that you come inside and you fill out their overnight form where they want to get some information about you and stuff. Uh, so it's all legit and everything. So you can actually say you had permission just in case. Just in case. These kind of nights, they sleep really, really well also. There's absolutely no wondering, oh, if I have two or three beers, if I'm going to have too much and then be asked to leave. Because that can happen sometimes when you're boondocking and you don't know. Like last night where I was at, right? So this is a more safe, secure spot. And it makes me feel like I'm going to definitely get a good night's sleep. It pretty much instantly stopped raining as soon as I got inside the RV. But this is the property here. It is sprinkling. Ooh. 
you guys aren't going to make a whole lot of noise tonight, are you? Is it bad that all of a sudden I really want chicken for dinner? I mean, hi guys. How you doing? Holy cow. That guy's mad. He did not like that chicken joke. So this is from the Deschutes Brewery, not to be confused with Deschutes in Washington. This is Deschutes in Oregon. And actually on the side here, it actually says born in Oregon. And I really, really like the artwork here on this. This is the Pacific Wonderland Lager. And so we'll give those a shot tonight. What? I'm being meowed at. That is actually fantastic. I like that. There's this really cool um, thing on Amazon you can buy. I'm thinking about it. It's it's kind of like my sticker map, but it's like a, a, a wooden USA map. It's quite large, like 36 inches across, and there's holes put out where you can collect bottle caps from around the country. It's like all the local breweries and stuff uh, along the travels. Just something different than stickers and and magnets to collect and I thought about doing that um, or getting it. I'm at least going to collect some of the local brewery caps along the way. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but just an idea. Let's check it out. That was probably really stupid and a waste of time, but I only had one chance at it. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.